Hello everyone, and welcome to the review of this record by Tyler the Creator, Igor. Now, coming into this album, everyone voted on the poll that they wanted this album to review. And you know, I really appreciate that. It's one of my favorite albums of all time. And you know, let's just get into it. So, first thing I wanted to talk about was the features on this album. You know, this really kind of sends everything about Tyler the Creator. You know, we have, you know, a uh, little Uzi Vert on this album. Uh, Playboy Cardi, Slant, uh, Kanye West. I do really think this is one of his best featured albums, you know, because the features are so minimal but so impactful. This album also is a great blend of different genres. You know, it's really all over the place. You know, we have soul in this, pop, hip hop, rap, you know, lots of R&B also. You know, and songs like I Think are nothing similar to songs like New Magic Wand or What's Good. And that's something else I want to talk about uh, about this record that each song transitions into the next. You know, like, like these little um, people, like someone's talking, like you gotta close the door to open a window. Exactly what you run from, you end up looking. You know, those are, you know, perfect transitions between each song. And, you know, and, you know, Tyler's just a genius at how making listening to this album a whole great experience. And listening to each song individually or on shuffle is also a great experience. You could just get into one, then get into another. But, you know, I'm rating this as an album. So, what I really think about this album is you know this is really Tyler's magnum opus you know he, we, we don't get another type of Tyler here we really get you know the soulful Tyler you know you know the sordid sense you know really feel the feeling of you know falling in love like you know it's so distorted you don't know when they start you don't know when it ends and you know you know, really, we really, really don't get on this record, you know, a Flower Boy or Call You Get Lost, which are records surrounding this record. And, you know, we don't really get that on this record. And I think that's a good thing. You know, it's really tighter getting outside of his comfort zone. I also think no one else in the rap industry or the pop industry could make an album like this because it's so personal to Tyler. You know, everyone who, who's felt something, has felt a feeling that's on this album, you know. It's really groundbreaking in that way. That I don't think it gets enough praise. Like when you talk about rap albums as in general, this is not an album that's talked about. Even though it is kind of heavy on rap albums, on rap, you know, Boy Is A Gun, um, New Magic Wand, What's Good, really are rap heavy because that's where Tyler stemmed from you know the hip-hop genre he can't really he couldn't really get away from hip-hop on this album and, you know I just just do think that he didn't stem away from that because he's from hip-hop he loves hip-hop Tyler and you know we really get his feeling of love of hip-hop on this album also wanting to branch out telling people hip-hop is not the only thing I could do which I love about him. This record is also, you know, really um, continual, you know. One song ends, one song starts, you know, but you still have the same energy that you started with, each song that you ended with, slowly becoming bigger and bigger, as we're about to see here. You know, tracks you go from Igor's theme, Earthquake, and I think, and running out of time, to mo New Magic Wand really, really, you know, amps up the first part of this thing, this album. Then, we have records like Puppet, you know, really slowed down, you know, with that Kanye West feature, and and then we transition to What's, a, what's Good, another New Magic Wand type track. And you know, then we go into the slower songs that I think are 
we find the best songs and the worst songs on this record. You know, with Gone Gone Thank You, I Don't Love You Anymore, and Are We Still Friends. So I do think that every single track Every single track on here is perfect in its own way. You know, I don't really get enough love for What's Good, which is one of my favorite tracks on the album, actually. You know, the hypeness, the, you know, the not just getting into it like a new magic wand, which, you know, I really love about this album. It really gets all over the place. And I want to talk about, you know, Boy Is A Gun, you know, really a relaxing state. The only song in this album that's really like, okay, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and every other song in this album is, you know, really jumbled up, you know, you can't really, like, the only way you could describe it if you go on Genius and it, okay, here's the start of the first verse, then the chorus, and here's the bridge, and then, oh, there's a, the solo. No, you really have to start getting somewhere with this album you know you can't just come into it and just like expect verse chorus verse chorus verse chorus you know it's all over the place finally um my final thoughts about this album it's one of my favorite albums of all time you know i'm i really glad i chose this album when i bought it because, you know, I cannot stop listening to this thing. And my final score will be... Come on, come on, come on. I'm feeling a strong 10 on this record. Yippee! I just really think that Tyler, you know, really gives off all the energy he needs for Tyler. And each track is better than the next in its own way. Um, trans gender what do you think about this album do you love it do you hate it yeah that bitch yeah she ate it do you like it do you psych it do you mic it to take it um that's kind of all